What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the top iOS 7 Cydia tweaks for 2014 part 2. So as you guys know, I did film a part 1 of top iOS 7 Cydia tweaks for 2014. There's a link down in the description below to go check that out. But back by popular demand, I figured I would make another part of the top iOS 7 city of tweaks for 2014. I found quite a few more tweaks that I really like that I'd like to show off to you guys today in this video. So the first one is Vertex, which is an all new multitasking tweak and is simply activated by double tapping the home button or it can also be activated by just swiping up for a control center. You can see here that it kind of takes the multitasking, the new multitasking layout from iOS 7 and also combines control center and puts it into one. Now it's very cool. I've used this tweak for a couple days, I just downloaded it because I heard a lot of people were liking it, and I'm not going to lie, it's really, really cool looking. So as you can see here, on the top I have my screen cards, my home screen, I have a window open in TweetBot, I have a window open in Music, and then on the bottom here I have some toggles that I'd regularly have in Control Center, as well as Brightness Toggle, Music Toggle, Volume Toggle, and stuff like that. And then there's the little buttons at the top, you know, where you'd have Airplane Mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth by default. But there's a slew of different options that you could select in settings after installing this tweak, which will actually let you change all these settings. And there are a lot more to be added. I just don't use a lot of different toggles in Control Center. So, like, for example, I move Flashlight up here. Um, if I navigate to the next tab, I have Bluetooth and Respring over here. So, you know, I just kind of keep what I need, but there are tons and tons of options. And then you could still just simply swipe up on the application to kill it and you can navigate to whatever app you want to go back and forth and stuff like that. It's really cool. And of course, it's available from Cydia. Again, the name of the tweak is Vertex. So next up is IntelliScreen X7 and Messages Plus. It actually comes in one package from a developer called Intelliborn. Now, if you guys remember, earlier this week on my new series from Mike's iOS help called Tweak of the Week, I went ahead and reviewed these two tweaks, IntelliScreen X7 and Messages Plus for iOS 7. So if you want to go check that out, there's also going to be a link in the description below because I figured you may as well just watch that instead versus me just re-reviewing the tweak all over again. And here's a little snippet from the actual Tweak of the Week review. This week's Tweak of the Week is a new tweak from Intelliborn called IntelliScreen X. And I'll go ahead and swipe down on my phone here just so you could see what I'm talking about. So here we're having a look at the lock screen. As you can see here, I have my time and a few updates that'll come in from mail, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you go ahead and, you know, regularly swipe to the left to go ahead and enter your passcode, but if you swipe to the right a little bit, you see we get this whole list of different items. You could see my, my latest tweets right from the lock screen. I didn't even have to open Twitter. And I can even compose a tweet and I could for example say test so of course like I said this is in beta you can go ahead and download it right now for $9.99 I believe it is in Cydia I love it a lot and the package for $9.99 even includes their famous messages plus and basically messages plus is a quick reply quick text type of client that is built right into the lock screen and anywhere that you go ahead and reach Intel screen X from I'll just send a message to myself be like hey or hi and I just send it and as you can see it fades right to the lock screen and I should be getting that text any minute now yep there it is so there you guys go that is IntelliScreen X7 and Messages Plus for iOS 7 again if you want to see the full video in full detail go check out my first tweak of the week tweak review down in the description below and if you want to see more episodes they come every Wednesday night so the next tweak that I'm going to review is a lock screen tweak and it's called Android Lock XT. Now I'm sure many of you are fond of this tweak. I have been reviewing this same tweak for quite some years now, probably dating all the way back to iOS 5. It's been a favorite out of all the tweaks I've ever used for a very long time of mine and it's recently been optimized for iOS 7. Basically it's an Android Lock based pattern and it works very very well here I have this little pattern and this is a different background that I have enabled um, in settings there are a ton of different patterns for the actual Android lock XT that you can add so it doesn't have to look like these squares however I like these squares the most you pretty much just draw a pattern with your fingers that you can create in settings it could really be any shape just as long as you're using the nine blocks that are shown here so I'll go ahead and show you again 
just drag my finger along to my set pattern and it unlocks like that. And yes, I do know that I have an iPhone 5S here that does have Touch ID. However, I can never see like Touch ID working for me 100% of the time. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Maybe it's just because I haven't updated to the most recent version of iOS, which is the beta of 7.1. Maybe it's improved. I'm not sure, but not all the time am I using Touch ID, the fingerprint sensor on the bottom. So it's kind of cool to just have... Android Lock XT here if I just want to use it. It's always been a favorite of mine and it's awesome to see it optimized for iOS 7. So definitely worth a go grab Insidia. The next tweak you're already seeing that I want to show you guys and it's called Iconoclasm. I can't remember if I've ever reviewed this one before. I've never really gotten into detail about it but people always ask me how I get my home screen looking the way it is. As you can see there are a lot more icons than the default actually offers when you get your iPhone or what the the default home layout is actually set to. So you can see it's a lot changed up. I've actually squared the icons down to 80% which I've used with Spring to My 3. That's a tweak that I reviewed earlier last month I believe. Iconoclasm takes your icon layouts and it pretty much puts them in any dimensions you want in terms of rows and columns. So for example right here I believe I have 5 by 7 set and I have a 5 icon dock on the bottom. Pretty much if I just go into settings here and I go to Iconoclasm itself I can change everything up here. I can go specifically per page on what layouts I want and here you could just see the layouts that I have set. It's 5x7 for iPhone 5, which does not come automatically with Iconoclasm. By the way, that's a separate download in City of 5x7. And so you could see I've taken the default Apple layout and added my icons and folders on the bottom and side. And it just kind of creates a nice layout in my opinion. I don't have any other pages besides this one. It's just that one main front page. So it looks pretty cool. The next tweak I want to show you guys is a little tweak called Blueboard. Now, most of you remember that last year I had my device's keyboard colored into blue. And you could see that I have this colored into blue as well. So this is actually a free tweak that's available in Cydia. And pretty much it just colors your keyboard blue. And you also have the option to darken the keyboard UI completely. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just go to the Blueboard preference pane right here. Pretty much you could just enable it and make the dark option where throughout the iOS, because if you guys know in light apps, it's white, like the background of the keyboard is white, and in darker apps, it's dark. Well, you could just set it to dark, and pretty much it just makes your keys blue. Blue has always been my favorite color for in terms of keyboard coloring, so that's why I chose this. But if you guys want different colors, there's also a tweak available in Cydia. I'm not sure if it's free or paid, but it's called Color Your Board, and you can make it pretty much any color, and you can also correspond the background to the same color as well. But since I like blue, I figured I'd save the couple of megabytes and just download this quick little tweak without, you know, having to have all those extras. I just figured I'd get this one instead. Again, it's called Blue Board. And the last tweak that I want to show you guys today is another lock screen tweak that is actually called Spin and it integrates with your music. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe up here and briefly play some low music before I get copyright strikes. I'm just kidding around. But here's how it looks actually. You can see I'm playing California Love and it completely redesigns the music interface on the lock screen. Now it doesn't do anything inside of the actual music app but just on the lock screen. You could see that it kind of has this spin looking thing. It takes the album artwork and it makes it into a little circle. And if you also notice on the background, like in the background faded behind all this stuff, there's Tupac himself on the artwork. He's just kind of faded in the background. And this works with pretty much everything. And so the way spin works is this is your actual scrubber bar. So I can go ahead and move it a little bit and actually change where the song is in terms of the, the time of the song. So it works pretty cool on the bottom here. You have your pause next and play controls or backwards forwards whatever you want to call it and so you could just kind of change it up there you see it looks pretty cool I'll go ahead and swipe to unlock here just figured I'd show you guys here's the preference pane in settings for spin there are a lot of different settings that you could choose to make spin kind of accustomed to you and uh, quite honestly this is the first day of me actually trying it and I quite honestly I do like it a lot you know it just redesigns the entire lock screen when it comes to playing music which I'm doing all the time anyways and I could see myself using this for quite some time so very cool really like the tweak I believe it is paid in Cydia. Um, definitely worth the buy, especially if you kind of want to redesign it. You like circles, I guess you could say. Uh, really cool. It would be interesting to see if Apple does something like this in a later version of iOS.
So there you go guys, those are my top iOS 7 City of Tweaks 42014 Part 2. Again, if you would like to see Part 1 of this series that I did a month ago, it is a, down in the description in a link, so go ahead and check it out for sure. I figured I'd do this again because of the popular demand that the first one was getting and last year's top iOS 6 City of Tweaks were getting as well, so it's definitely worth it. You guys want to check it out to see some other really cool iOS 7 City of Tweaks as well. Maybe maybe I'll make more parts as we go on if I could find some even cooler iOS 7 City of Tweaks. And leave some comments below um, if you have any favorited tweaks or anything and you might want me to feature them in a future episode. Um, of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.